Hi, everybody. Mr. Lear is here today. Uh, we are going to look at a really cool artist named Arsimboldo. Uh, he makes pictures of people's faces using food. And I thought it would be fun to look at his artwork uh, first, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. And then uh, uh, we'll make some artwork today. So you'll need paper and pencil. So uh, let's get started by watching this silly cartoon uh, with some silly characters, but they give you some really cool information about this artist named Arsimbaldo. Here we go. ever need a blue book, you know it's right next to a yellow book. A flower! Oh, that horrific! Hey, this is kind of like some of those paintings I saw in my big red book. <laughs> yes, big red book. Now, where is it? Careful, oh, the <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess I'll have to reorganize my books. That pile of books looks like a person. Yeah, it does. Who are you? Why, I'm Wolfgang Glasius, the librarian, of course. Giuseppe Archimboldo, my dear friend, in a book. Where did Mr. Um Librarian come from? Hey, that's you, Mr. Librarian. What a cool painting. You're all made of books. Made of books and a librarian. <laughs> that is funny. Yes, Giuseppe Archimboldo is quite fun, to say the least. Well, I must be getting back. It was a pleasure. Uh-oh, he took my book. Don't worry, we'll get it. Wow! Ah, what a pleasant surprise! Hello, Mr. Librarian. Um, I think you, um, accidentally brought my book with you. Oh, the book! With Archimboldo's paintings in it! Oh, dear! I'm terribly sorry. We'll find it, but even better! You're right here at Archimboldo's art studio at the illustrious Imperial Court. And there is the royal painter himself. Ah, well, and uh, who are these enchanting guests? This here is Matty, and I am Dada. Delighted. Mmm, perfetto. You have given me a most fanciful idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a great costume! What's it for? The royal pageant is tonight. It will be the most illustrious, fleshy affair yet. Archimboldo designs the most flamboyant, scintillating parades. His imagination knows no bounds. Ooh, look! What a beautiful picture of a woman. This one I call spring. Flowers and leaves and <laughs> strawberries. A spring garden. A garden? It's a painting of a head with a hat on it. Yes, indeed. I see a woman's head. Uh, nope. It's a garden with flowers. Da da, that's an ear. <laughs> see, see. It is an ear and a flower. It depends where you are. You see two different things. Now you go close. And da da, you come uh, back here. The ear is a flower, and her skin is made of small flower petals. Da da! Wow, it's a pretty lady. Whoa, flowers and a pretty lady. Pretty lady. Whoa, flowers. Pretty lady. <laughs> Amazing! It's 
that's two paintings in one. Whoa! Da wow! I love to make people smile and be amazed. Come, come. Please keep an eye out for my book. Oh, dear, yes. I'll keep looking for it, too. Archimboldo had the dragon costume worn by a horse in a parade. <laughs> Everyone was very surprised. <laughs> I was thinking of using that again for tonight's big gala. A bowl of vegetables. Nice. Well, it's not a bowl of vegetables. It's a strange-looking man wearing a black hat. How can you say a bowl of vegetables is a man? Because it is. Um, I have to agree with Matty. It is an exemplary still life of vegetables. It's a man. From far and close, it's most definitely a bowl of vegetables. It's a man. <laughs> this is delightful confusion. It is a strange gardener. The basket is his hat. And it's also a fantastic da -da painting of vegetables. It's amazing. His cheek is a big onion. It's tricky. I arrange things to look like people. It's interesting to look at something and see how it could be something so completely different. And they're all made of what they do. The vegetables making the gardener, spring flowers making a portrait of a spring woman, and all the books making the librarian. My book! <laughs> ah, ah, that's where it is. This must be a really tricky painting. I don't see anything. Ah, that would be mine. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Librarian. Your art is so wonderful. I want to make a face out of different things, too. See, si, see, si, it is a uh, most enjoyable to amuse people. Have fun at the gala tonight, and thank you! You are most welcome. I come back to see me again sometime. Look, Dada! Ha <laughs> ha! Dada horrific! Dada, what are you doing? Oh, yes! <laughs> Two glasses of freshly squeezed juice. Thanks, Dada. Okay, so that was a little bit about our artist for today and where we're getting our inspiration for our artwork today. Let's take a few minutes to look closer at his artwork. So this picture that you see re right here in front of you, who can uh, tell me, can you tell me, what do you see in this picture right now? Take a close look at it. What do you see? I see one, two, and maybe part of another thing. Do you see what that is? Well, I see an apple. Do you see the apple? I also see a grape. Do you see a grape too? Good. I. I think I see either a really tiny cherry tomato in the corner right here, or maybe that, maybe that is a cherry. I don't know. It's hard to tell right here. And this is definitely something else right here. This is some other uh, fruit or vegetable. Let's move it out a little bit more. Okay. So now I see now. Now take a close look at this. Now what do you see? I see, I think these are grapes. I think this is a pear. You guys know what a pear is? This might be another apple or it could be an onion. Oh, this is an, I think this is an onion right here. And maybe that's an orange back there. Maybe this is just a lighter color. Okay. Let's take a bigger look at this picture. 
Oh. Okay. So we're seeing a little bit more. Now, what do you see? Hmm, I got some grapes here. And I see some more grapes over here, maybe some more grapes. And there's definitely some leaves, probably uh, from the plant where these vegetables and fruit grew from. Okay, so let's zoom out even more and see what happens. Wow. Take a look at that. Do you see anything other than fruit or vegetables or that basket? I kind of squint my eyes and look at it. I can see a person and that person is made out of fruit and vegetables, which is so silly and fun. I thought it would be really fun to make an artwork like this today. Like we always do with letters of the alphabet and different shapes and simple lines, maybe numbers. Um, all right, so let's take a minute to get ready. Make sure you have your paper and your pencil uh, ready right now. Maybe some colors if we have time. Okay, so I've got my white paper here and I've got some things for you to look at as well uh, for a resource to help you draw today or help us draw today. Uh, if you look right here, I've got a couple of pictures of more of in Simbolo, Baldo's artwork of people made out of vegetables and things. And then I have a couple of kids artworks here too. So we're going to try and make our own person out of fruits and vegetables. And I put some fruit and vegetables right here for you to uh, use if you want to. Uh, you can draw uh, any kind of, you know, whatever kind of person you like. It could be a boy or a girl or a mom or a dad or anybody. So let's start and I'm gonna, I think I'll use, yep, I'll use this pen today. I'm gonna start, I need to make it a little, a little bit thicker or anything. Okay, let's start, let's do I want to go down. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's start by making the shape of a person's head. It's kind of like a letter O or a zero. So let's start and let's fill your, not, well, don't fill it too much, but make a nice, like if this is my whole paper, make a nice big letter O. Okay, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I think I am going to start with the eyes, and I kind of like those pea pods. Those are pea pods right there for my eyes. You don't have to make the same eyes as me. If you want to do something different, go right ahead. Uh, but I'm going to start by making some pea pods. So I'm going to make the shape of a pea pod, and that is the letter. Or, uh, a frown line. Frown, I'm going to put two frowns. Okay, go ahead and add two frown lines if you want to make yours like mine, or you can make your own if you like. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now to add, to add on to those pea pods, we're going to put two smile lines. underneath those frown lines. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, and then to make the rest of the pea pod, we're gonna do those same two lines. 
frown, frown, smile, smile. Okay, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we have to put the peas inside of that pea pod. Oh, you know, it looks like there's a detail. I'm gonna put like a little, little scribble right there and a little scribble right here for the pea pods. So inside the pea pod, I'm gonna put the letter O again or circle. right in the middle. And that's going to be the first P for our pea pod. I like the letter P, but like the P that you eat. Okay, go ahead and do that. Okay, so We're going to add a couple more peas in those pea pods. I'm going to put a pea here and a pea there and another pea here and another pea here. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so for the next part, let's see, I think I'm going to make some, a nose and you don't have to make the same nose as me unless you want to. Now you can use a different fruit or a different vegetable, it's up to you. I think I'm gonna do that eggplant for my nose. I'm gonna make a little eggplant so I'm going to start with the letter U. And on top of that U, I want you to put a rainbow line. Rainbow. Okay, so go ahead. If you're making um, an eggplant for your nose, if you want to, you don't have to. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so to make that look more like an eggplant, we got to put um, a letter U. Oops, my pen isn't working. Let me fix that. Letter U, U, U. And then there's a little rainbow line on top. Okay, so go ahead and do that now. Okay, so for my mouth, I think I'm going to do a banana. So let's make a big smile line. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so on that smile line, I'm going to make another, like a little C right there, and then another smile line. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, to make that look more like a banana, we got to put a little banana stem. So I'm going to put like a little rectangle on top. Looks more like a triangle maybe. Go ahead and do that now. Okay. 
Okay, what should we use for ears? Hmm. I think I'm going to do apple ears. So I'm going to go ahead and put a circle here and a circle here. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, to make that look more like an apple, we got to put a stem on it. A little triangle, a little triangle, and on that triangle, I think I'm going to put an oval, an oval with a line through it to make it look like a leaf or apple. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let's make some hair. What are we going to make some hair with? Huh. I think I'm going to do grapes for hair. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start here and I'm going to start putting a whole bunch of circles on top. And do that now. You can start. Towards the top of the grapes, don't forget to put a leaf. So for the leaf, I'm going to make like a, like a scribble that comes off of it and a line through it. And then I'm going to put a stem, which is another triangle. Go ahead and start adding your grapes if you're making the same thing I am. I'm going to do it on both sides. I got my leaf through it and the stem that comes out of it. And some more circles. Okay, so go ahead and start adding grapes, everybody. Hey, if you want to and you don't have to, I'm going to add a lemon for a neck. And it's going to be like the letter U. And then there's going to be a stem that comes out of it over there. And then you can't see part of it because it's behind. Okay, so take a few minutes. If you're doing the same thing as me, I don't know, you could be doing something different and that's fine. Take a few minutes right now to do that. Okay, so these are the colors that I did uh, for my drawing. You can do different colors if you want and different fruits and vegetables, it's up to you. Uh, why don't you take a few minutes to go ahead and, and start adding colors, with whatever colors you wanna use.
Okay, everybody, I hope you had fun uh, making uh, a person or a portrait out of fruits and vegetables. I had fun uh, making this. I hope you guys uh, have <coughs> And I look forward to seeing your finished artwork uh, next week. Don't forget to bring it to class so I can see all your awesome work. Have a great week, and I will see you all next time.